Collecting miniatures and displaying them in dollhouses isn't just child's play. It's become a serious hobby for grown-ups who even buy fine silver in miniature. They spare no expense because, after all, it's the little details that make the difference. In the world of miniatures, there's no need to downsize one's expectations. Here you can find all the little luxuries, like fine silver that isn't just a cheap reproduction. This silverware is a tiny version of the real thing. To make it, they use silversmithing tools and techniques that have been handed down over generations. This is a workbench used in the 18th century. Today, they use one that's nearly identical. They measure a full-sized mug and divide the measurements by 12, giving them specifications that are 1 12th scale, but true to the original. Next, they squeeze a strip of silver between rollers, which thins it out to about a half millimeter. Then they punch small round shapes from the silver. A blast from a torch softens them, which makes them easier to work with. They plunge them into acid, which eats away impurities and leaves a frosty finish. Next, they spin one of the silver discs on a lathe, and using a series of tools, they shape it into a thimble-sized mug. Any mistake is a big one when you're working with such small dimensions. It could ruin the whole job, so they work with great care. The machining also removes the frosty finish left by the acid wash for a truly sterling result. They buff up the mug to add luster to the finish. Next, they make a mini silver base for the mini mug. They taper it so it will be a perfect fit. small fragments of silver solder between the two pieces. Then they heat the parts to 770 degrees Celsius to fuse them together. Next, they cut up leftover silver and put the scraps in a crucible. They add a pinch of borax, a mineral that will prevent unwanted oxides from forming, as they melt the silver leftovers to a molten mass. Melting the scrap will enable them to reuse it. They pour the molten silver into a plaster mold of little handles. Then they plunge it into cold water. The temperature change causes the plaster to explode, exposing the mini silver handles. They solder one onto the little silver mug. And now it won't slip through your fingers quite so easily. Next, the miniatures are cleaned and polished by friction in a bucket of steel shot and soapy water. They strain out the soapy water, revealing the gleaming miniatures. Each silver miniature has to meet the same standards of purity as full-sized silver. Here in Britain, the regulations have been around for 700 years. The maker's mark, called the hallmark, is the stamp of authenticity. Hallmarking a miniature can be a bit awkward, and sometimes the article is just too tiny to mark. But when it comes to replicating silverware, it seems no job is too small, and there are plenty of shining examples in the world of miniatures.